one thing I really interested uh, point here is every day we make in uh, almost uh, uh, 548, uh, we are making steel to create at least 548 uh, Eiffel Tower. There is so much of steel manufacturing in this, uh, uh, in, our, in our world and how come there is less steel construction in India? That was my primary question. When I started practice here almost 10 years back, uh, prior to that I was doing a lot of work in US almost uh, 12 years and we were doing a lot of steel building. When I came to India, there is very less steel buildings. And uh, even as a fabricator, so we have only four or five fabricators in India. So uh, the, the trouble was uh, there is a lot of preconception against steel. It is expensive uh, to do steel construction in India and obviously there are very few uh, you know, people who can install the steel. Uh, so my, from my experience, uh, we have uh, projects like uh, steel which we can use it as a uh, composite construction which is the uh, structural steel construction which we are using for IT buildings, a lot of uh, big span spaces. One of the buildings uh, we are doing in Hyderabad uh, along with the Kirby steel, it is almost 1.5 million square feet. It is a 23 story building where what we are trying to do here is uh, with a, a column and beam structure with a structural steel. And this is the kind of uh, some of the sketches here. Uh, Oh gosh, uh, similar approach here. I was just looking at some of these Barclays projects. Um, similar approach, structural steel. Now, um, the interest of this, I mean, interesting fact of this project, we are able to do. Uh, you know, in India, first question client ask you to architects, uh, how much is what is a steel kg per square feet? If you ask in a, if you're doing any project, if it's a 10 story, 20 story, that is something we really need to know. So my impression was I never had an exposure to that steel per square, uh, square feet uh, before. And in concrete building, that's the first question. If it's an IT building, if you're doing an IT building for uh, any of the clients, they will ask you what's the square footage. Uh, you know, so here for a uh, project of 10 story, 15 story, it can be you know, 8 kg or 7 kg depending upon the engineers we will say. On a structural steel, you guys know how much kg per square feet? In a structural steel, if you are using steel building, it is almost same. I was not aware of that. Yeah. Tell me, sir. 5. Five. Sir is saying it is lesser. So I think it is ex exciting point because the first uh, misconception of steel building was most of the time, most of the my clients say it's expensive. It is 20 percent expensive, 30 percent expensive. It's wrong. It's still building for uh, if you do the buildings, uh, either IT buildings or any of the bigger office buildings. It's almost equal or lesser if you go for a steel construction, and definitely it's faster. So this is an exciting uh, project type. We should do more and more in India. Uh, next building type I want to take talk uh, talk about the uh, the residential buildings. Uh, residential building, whenever we talk about steel, people, nobody will uh, uh, say why are we doing steel. We had an opportunity to work with uh, JSPL a uh, couple of years back and uh, one of the technology they brought it up was speed floor. Uh, is anybody know about speed floor here? We are from huh? JSPL. Oh, you are from JSPL, okay. So we were the uh, architect uh, for one of their project, this uh, speed floor technology, they bought it from New Zealand. Uh, so it is an interesting uh, philosophy. So what they are doing here is, uh, just show you something. This is a residential job we have done for them. It's costed us approximately 1000 rupees per square feet to do this project. I will tell you what the technology is, if I can able to find this out. So speed floor is almost like a metal joist. This uh, here you can probably uh, probably understand what I'm talking. It's a metal joist. Uh, every uh, like uh, every 1.2 meters you span, and in between this joist you put it plywood sheet. 
So when you during the construction, there is no formwork needed, and you put a concrete uh, on top on it, the concrete slab. So concrete slab thickness is al almost like 120 uh, millimeter, and uh, and but this can uh, because of this metal joist projecting out, coming out of it, it's a it create an interesting uh, pattern in the floor. I mean in this uh, in the ceiling. On the same time, it is a, uh, it is a got a very huge uh, structural uh, because it's projecting out out of the slab. I think uh, the section will give you a little bit of so the first picture there. Yeah, this first picture is the this is a steel joist, which is uh, which is uh, we are putting every 1.2 meters. Then that's a plywood sheet they put in. And this is, uh, so there is no need for the form work. I mean form work meaning uh, any centering. Then you put pour the concrete over it above the plywood, then you just remove the plywood. And the material usage is extremely less and it's a, a roll, uh, you know, cold roll steel. Uh, we have built, uh, I think uh, JSPL built almost a million square feet of residential, almost a million square feet they built. As I said, you know, this is a, eight story, nine story building using a steel approximately less than two kg steel. So this is an interesting uh, construction technology for up to 10 story in my opinion we should definitely look at it in steel. Uh, quite exciting to me uh, that technology. Um, another thing uh, I came across with uh, this uh, uh, kind of an affordable home, which we are doing a lot of research, we are not able to crack anything, but uh, in western countries they have been doing uh, this, uh, but not in India, we have not got a client yet to make it do it, uh, you know, our target price to do this with the 800 rupees per square feet to do like uh, four story houses with a new affordable home coming. In my opinion, the technology should be light gauge construction floor, uh, walls and floors, every sector, you know. If we can do that uh, with this uh, reduced foundation strength and everything, uh, can absolutely come up with a, uh, a solution. Uh, this is uh, another uh, part of, uh, so the this construction, uh, as I said, you know, this uh, for affordable home with the new government policy of uh, ATIB, where you, if you read, if you build uh, anything, uh, 800, uh, 60, uh, 60 square meter for carpet area, uh, tax reduction and uh, the government giving the loan benefit to, to the customers, I think we can definitely crack this uh, uh, with the steel construction. Another point, uh, one of the projects we are involved on the, I mean we are talking about the structural uh, quality of the sculptural aspect of the steel, the, the, some of the roof, what we have done uh, for uh, along with uh, LNT uh, for the Bangalore International Airport. It's a very interesting roof, uh, we worked uh, with uh, geodesic uh, on this project. Um, these are the, some of the structure, you know, sculptural quality of steel building. I'm talking about the iconic building possibilities in India. Pre-engineered building we talked about, uh, a lot of uh, opportunity on pre-engineering building. So I think what I'm trying to uh, convince today to you guys is uh, with a lot of steel engineers and engineers here, you definitely need to work very hard with every building type. Steel can be really do fantastic job and help architects and clients uh, to do a fantastic, uh, I mean efficient job, uh, you know, either be uh, office building, can be the residential building or can be affordable homes or iconic building. We can use steel as, as I said, you know, it's already, uh, we have done some of the project. So uh, I think uh, it's a real time for uh, steel to be used in our construction. 